What is a general purpose register? Well, a GPR or just general purpose register is a special kind of hardware storage. It can be used to store unsigned integer values. You will see this registers a lot, mostly in address calculation and as an operand for instructions that handle integer values. For example, here we use the Rex register as an operand for the move instruction, which this instruction basically means copy this value here into the Rex register. Also, the size of a GPR depends on the CPU mode of operation, which in our case is 64-bit mode. And in this mode, there are 16 GPRs, which all of them has a width of 64-bit. This table here lists all the available GPRs in the 64-bit mode. It also shows that the lower part of the GPRs can be used separately as a different GPR. For example, the Rex register has three lower registers, the 32-bit EAX, then the 16-bit AX, and the 8-bit AL register. These four registers use the same 64-bit location in your CPU core, which makes writing to these registers a little bit weird. So let's say you're using the 8-bit register and you're storing an 8-bit value. It will only use the first 8 bits of the 64-bit location. It won't change the rest of the bits. Same thing goes when using the 16 and the 32 bits register. Writing to the 16 bit register will only use the first 16 bits and overwrite the 8 bit register. Meanwhile, writing to the 32 bit register would overwrite both the 8 and 16 bit register, but also zero extend the higher bits meaning the rest of the bits will be set to zeros. Side note, if you're coming from the previous architecture, you might have seen these four registers. Well, in 64-bit mode, these registers are not addressable when using the Rex prefix, which I would talk about more in future videos. And finally, all these GPRs, including their lower registers, some of them have their own implicit use case when using specific instructions. There's two tables from the AMD64 architecture reference manual listing the implicit use case of the GPR when using application level instructions. This here is the first one, and this here is the second one. For other instructions, sadly, there are no more tables. So you just have to look it up yourself in the manual. Because I'm too lazy to list them myself. Anywho, if you have any questions regarding anything from this video, just leave it in the comment section. I might read them. Goodbye.